Hello, today I'm going to teach you just a little bit about UV mapping. Alright, to start off I'm just going to place a cube on my grid here. Press 5 key to shade it. And I'm going to assign a new material to this cube. So I'm going to right click on the cube, go down to assign new material, and select Lambert. Alright, so now I'm just going to add a file to this cube. And what I'm going to show you first is how to add a texture to each separate face. You can do this with anything, a torus, a uh, plane, or whatever. So now I'm just going to click the folder on the right here and select my create texture. Now you'll notice you, you won't be able to see the texture right away. That's because you have to click 6 on your keyboard. Then you'll be able to view it. It's probably not coming out how you want it at first, but all you have to do is go up to the top here. It's pretty simple. Go to Edit UVs and click Unitize. So now it'll show up on each side. Alright, so now I'm just going to show you how to add your own textures using a program such as Photoshop or Paint, whatever you have. So I'm just going to delete that and we create another cube and I'm just going to make it interesting. I'm going to select this face, extrude it. extrude again by hitting the G key. Alright, so now we have this L, whatever you want it to be called. So we're gonna create UVs for this L. I'm just gonna open up my UV texture editor over here and you notice it'll be set for planar mapping. So now I'm just gonna go up to sorry, edit UVs Make sure you have this still selected, edit UVs, and I'm going to automatically map this. Sorry, create UVs. So now it'll map each face. You can see which face is, is which by right clicking, selecting face, and going here. So that one is that one. So now I'm just going to show you how to uh, texture if you have a program such as paint or something. You're going to go up to polygons and hold on make sure you have this all selected again you're gonna go up to polygons and UV UV snapshot so now it'll give you this option I'll just keep it at the defaults and I'll just save it as untitled you can select your image format whatever you have Mac paint I'm just I'll leave it at JPEG alright so now I'm just gonna hit OK that'll save to the desktop and I'm going to open up Photoshop because that's really all I have. I'm just going to open that file in Photoshop. Alright, so now to give you this, I'll just draw something on it just so you can see. Alright, so I'll save that. Go back into Maya here. And I'm going to minimize my UV texture editor. Click on the object. Go to wherever the um, shader you have on here. I'm just going to go to here, click on File, and go back to the folder here and just select Untitled JPEG. So now it'll appear on your cube if you press the 6 key. It's probably not how you want it, but you could always edit that in whatever program you're using. Alright, so now I'm just going to show you how to do it if you have Photoshop. I'll just delete this for now get another cube in here you may have to I'll just assign new material for this I'll go back actually alright assign new material sorry Lambert alright and previously um there was an option for reload. If you change up the file a bit, all you have to do is click reload and it'll reload the file. Alright, so anyway, I'll just go back into my UV texture editor here. Alright, so it's already mapped out. Now, to bring this into Photoshop, all you have to do is go up to the top image and create PSD network. It'll have all the default values for you. I'm just going to add a color and a bump, which I'm not going to show you how to do because it's somewhat confusing. Alright, so now I'm just going to go to create here. Um, just give it a second. 
All right, so saved as untitled P cube shape one. Pretty sure it's saved to my desktop. I didn't select the. Let me just check quick. Sorry. All right, can't check. Just X out of this. All right, well it didn't save to my desktop. Alright, well I found it anyway. Alright, so now you're going to have layers here. Collect, select, create certain layers. You have the bump layer and the color layer. So I'm just going to edit the color layer a little bit. Alright, so if you uh, make the bump layer disappear, you can see the color layer. I'm just going to add random stuff here just to show you, just for demonstration purposes. You can do whatever you want if you're used to Photoshop. So I'll just save that, and all you have to do is, it's pretty simple. I'll just, hold on, X out of this. Go back to my UV texture editor. Just give it a second. Sorry. Alright, so all you have to do is select this, and there it'll be, update PSD networks. It's pretty simple. So that's just basic UV mapping. Um, if you have any more suggestions, please subscribe, comment, whatever. Um, thanks for watching.